Okay, here is another kinematic equation sample problem. Um, this is one of those what I call a two-body problem, meaning there are two people undergoing motion in different ways, but they are sort of connected to each other. Um, so you can see here there are two rugby players. They are running towards each other. They are 37 meters apart, right? So uh, let me draw this. So there is, I'll call one of the players to be player one. And the other one I'll say is player two. And they say they are 37 meters apart. Okay, so that's the distance between them. And one of them is accelerating from rest. Suppose it's player one who is accelerating from rest. So player one and then player two. And I'm looking at, um, okay, so accelerating from rest, meaning, you know, um, she's at rest and she's going to start to accelerate. So, so for player one, our VI is zero and acceleration is 0.5 meters per second squared that's given to me. And the other one is uh, already moving at 3.1 meters per second. So player two has an initial velocity of minus 3.1 meters per second, minus just says moving to the left from my picture and it's constant velocity. So VI or VF, it doesn't matter, right? So VI or VF, they're all the same. That's negative 3.1 meters per second. Minus is important. And I can also call this, you know, X equals zero for player one. So I'll say the initial position for player one is zero. And this is um, X equals 37 meters. So that's the initial position for um, the second player. That's uh, 37 meters. And of course, the initial player has no acceleration, so A is zero. So now what they're asking us to calculate is how long does it take before the two players meet? Meaning, you know, they're saying what is the time when they both have the same position? Xf is the same for player one and for player two. So, um, so what I'm going to do is use the equation for position as a function of time. That's the second kinematic equation, uh, except I'll write it as x final is equal to, I bring the negative xi to the other side. So it becomes positive xi plus vit plus one half at squared. I write the same thing for player two, xf equals xi plus VIT plus one half AT squared. Player one, um, there is XI is zero and VI is also zero starting from rest. And player two, acceleration is zero. And yeah, you have the rest of the terms there. And we want these two positions to be the same. Um, so what I have here is one half of acceleration, which is 0.5 meters per second squared times t squared is equal to the final position uh, and xi initial position is 37 meters plus vit and vi is a negative 3.1 times t. You see, so now it just became a quadratic equation and we all know how to solve that. So solve for t, so you can do that. I simplify it, 0.25 t squared plus 3.1 t minus 37 is equal to zero. So I can, um, I can solve, and when I solve this, yeah, I'll put it in my calculator, um, polysolve. My first coordinate is point, not coefficient, is 0 0.25, and then 3.1, and then a negative 37. Oops, syntax error. Not sure what happened there. 
3.1, that is B, and then C is negative 37. Let's say solve. sure why it's taking so much time yeah so i get time t to be 7.4543 seconds and then the other time is negative t equals negative 19.854 seconds i can throw away the negative time time and you know my time 366 is 7.45 seconds um, or I guess here it was two significant figures, so I should have said 7.5 seconds, right? That's fine. That's 7.5 seconds is the answer. And uh, just to make sure it all makes sense, uh, you know, the distance traveled by either one of them should be less than 37. Uh, let's see how far they have gone, you know. So uh, let's say if I want X final for player one, I will use one half 80 square. That's 7.45 squared, and that comes out to be uh, 0 0.5 times 0.5 times 7.45 squared, and that comes out to be 13.87 meters, or say 13.9 meters, and the other player, you know, you should be able to find out um, that um, the final position for the other player should also be the same, but the second player would have traveled a distance of 37 minus this much, which is like 23.1 meters. So it all makes sense. Okay, so I will stop it here. Um, actually, if I was trying to um, draw a graph here, you know, this is how the graph would have looked. So let's see, I have X versus T for both the players. So I have X equals zero, X equals 37 here. So when I, when I have the first player starting from rest, right? Starting from rest and accelerating. So that's player once. Trajectory, not trajectory, that's the player one's graph of x versus t. And uh, player two is 37 minus 33.1 t. So, you know, player two is just coming with a constant uh, velocity, right? Uh, so, so, and the constant velocity is that negative 3.1 meters per second. And this is the time where, uh, where they meet the time 7.45 seconds and this is the position uh, where they meet uh, which was 13 point um, 13.9 meters okay i'll stop here